Field by Field, Mazex is bringing Canadian seed to farmers across Canada. Mazex is your source for high-performance soybeans and grain, silage, and grazing corn hybrids. Visit mazex.com to find your local Mazex representative. Bernard Tobin here at the Farm Progress Show. I am over at Case now, catching up with Leo Bowes. Leo, how's it going? Oh, it's been an exciting year for our Case IH here. It certainly has. You and I talked combines at Commodity Classic back in March. You, you rolled out the AF-11. Uh, here you are with the AF-9, AF-10. Uh, it is the year of the combine. <laughs> yeah, just five or six months ago, right? We were talking about the AF-11, and here today behind me, we're launching two new models, the AF-10 and AF-9 series of machines. Yeah, now you've got eight models. Now, um, where does the, the 9 and the 10 fit? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have a total of eight models. Started back last year with the 160 series, and then the AF-11 came in, and then the 260 series, and now the AF-10 and AF-9. Where does that fit for producers? It actually starts up front. We look at the headers, and we're looking at matching that capacity for the machine. So the AF series is built on three core principles, capacity, technology, and ultimate runtime. So when we look at that first one, capacity, it all starts with that header. So if we look at customer's configuration for planters, whether it be you know a 12 row to 16 row configuration, that pairs well with what you see behind me, the AF10 or AF9. Yeah. Let's talk, uh, you know, the feeder house here, crop flow, um, the rotor. You know, you've uh, you've got some changes here. Yeah, when we get to that rotor, let's just maybe emphasize the headers. So if you look at now an FD2 series can go up to 61 feet. So Western Canada, Alberta, Saskatchewan, take a look at that wide crop mat. And then the C500 series, bringing that corn in. But that feeder area, we use a synchronized feed system. That synchronized feed system not only allows us to accelerate that crop, but get it into now that single rotor. We call it an AFXL rotor, three and a half feet longer to increase separation. So what does that allow us to do? It allows us to catch more grain. If you were rotor limited before, had rotor loss, now we that's a thing of the past, so we capture more grain of what we're harvesting and threshing. Mm. Tell me about uh, the cleaning system here. You've got some changes. Yeah, so we're following that crop flow through the machine, so now we've got it threshed and separated. The cleaning system is a cross-flow plus cleaning system, active and dynamic. So active, we have an active grain pan that's up front, and we can oscillate that grain pan left and right. So typically a rotor would pile crop one side or the other. Now that active grain pan can now move that crop one side or the other. So we use our active sieve pressure sensors to sense the pressure differential, and we can change that sieve. So then we get down to four different sieves to actually take that crop to get it up to a 10,000 bushel per hour clean grain elevator, huge. Not, that's not what this machine will do, but again, you know, we're future-proofing or sizing that size component. Hey, let's wrap it up, uh, talk about some specs here. Horsepower and uh, grain tank. Oh yeah, so we got that grain that we threshed and separated up in the grain tank, 567 bushel will unload at a six bushel per second load rate, all coupled with a 775 horsepower engine to drive. So we didn't even talk about technology, harvest command in base and that operator station, so a heated and cooled seat, but dual Pro 1200 displays getting view or insight into that cropping. But if you don't have more information, find out more information about the new AF series, go to Case IH com. We have all the collateral there that you can see all the feature sets that we just talked about. Great stuff, Leo. Uh, great to see you again. Uh, we've seen the run of each other. Uh, thanks for making some time for Real Agriculture here at Farm Progress. Yeah, great seeing you, Bernard. And, and I would encourage your viewers to go out to caseh.com and see additional information on the new AF series.